So sorry about the jerkiness of this, but here we are. So it's on the new silver cab with the daytime running lights. This is a 2021, well, 20, 70 plate sort of thing. This one has got that lovely EMP self leveling system. Nice alloy, silver metallic cab. Uh, it's got the LED lights on the awning rail. This one's done about 950 miles, something like that. Come with its external TV point and gas point and everything like that. This one has got quite a nice garage for saying it's a rear lounge. 230 volt socket, lights, awning rail, and it's got a full spare at the back as well, which is nice to see in a motor home because they cut the payloads now down as much as they can and wheel does take up quite a lot. So this is on the 4250 chassis. It's got reversing camera at the top. As you can see it's got the new rear lights. Garage door on the opposite side as well. There's an EMP self leveling. So you just go on the remote, little LCD screen, press legs down, which is what we like here. And uh, it just levels itself out. So as you can see, got the gas lockers here. Typical Burstner, very well laid out uh, water tanks and everything like that so you can easily get to them without any issues. Front wheels cocking like a dog's back leg because of that self leveling and it just looks awesome. It really does, especially in this nice sunlight here. This one has got a few extras including the 160 brake horsepower engine. And then as we head inside, so now we're inside, this is what we have. It is beautifully finished, really beautifully. Lovely leather, like a, a cloth back, which you get a lot of sofas in now. It'll hide the dirt quite well, to be fair, that, and it's really soft and comfy. LED lighting to absolutely die for, all the way through and around, whether it's on the bed, in the kitchen units, everywhere. It looks absolutely awesome. So this has got a what, five seater lounge, with the, with when the, by the time the driver and passenger seats swivel around. Something this has got as an extra, the fifth seat. So this is a five berth with five belted seats. That is the option that you've got with this. This bit here swivels around so you've got an extension to the table. And hidden just behind, which I'll show you here, is that EMP self-leveling control. Cab comes very well spec'd, but I think most of it's standard to be fair. It has the nav, reversing camera, Bluetooth, cruise control, stop start technology, cab blinds, electric windows, mirrors, so on, so on, so on, so on. So lots of spec there. Nice sunroof just above. I don't quite know, get what these are, ignore that pen and paper. But they're just move, movable lights and that's your little charging station, I guess. Very clever. I'll show you another one in the back as well. Going towards the back on the left, we do have this area here with the Truma iNet ready system. Kitchen, I think, is really well designed and I'll show you why. So it does have nice drawers with LED lighting. Hot burners, three of them, oven, and a nice sink. So what I do like about this, obviously when you're in a motorhome, you can run out of space. And worktop space is something that you want. So this cover on the sink, nicely swivels out and there you have some extra workspace to deal with really clever i think i really do like that just gives you enough to work with so continuing back we've got the nice slim line fridge with a bit of a cupboard above and now pops your microwave wardrobe all the controls for the lights and so on and then we've got this lovely big rear lounge. So it is an L-shaped seating lounge. You could probably fit four people around it, something like that. So if there are five of you, at least you've got two areas for kids, adults at the back or whatever. Again, you've got another one of these nice little burst of lights. Bit of storage, T uh, space for a TV bracket. So you could have one at the front and one at the back. This, I want you to tell me what this is because I'm not quite sure what it's for. Little TV, little TV, little table. Explain that one to me. I'm sure it's useful for something, I don't know what. That there is your step. And then it just looks really nice, just sat at the back looking towards the front. 
just love that Y shape on the uh, on the electric bed above. Sliding door to separate this area. And then we've got the bathroom to finish off, which means you do have a shower, a separate shower compartment as well. Again, it looks absolutely spot on. Sorry I'm doing this on my phone, just haven't got the right technology with me today. So at the front, two sleeping arranging areas, two sleeping areas. You've got your drop down bed at the front. I won't take that all the way down because I need to move stuff. And at the back, control panel here, where you've got a second drop down bed. And at the front, you've got the option to have that fifth person sleeping. So it looks absolutely stunning. Beautiful day like this. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me what you think that table's for, because I have no idea. This sort of motorhome is available. If you do want it, this one in particular um, was just over £80,000 new by the time you put the self-leveling system, the 160 brake horsepower engine upgrade, a few of the bits as well, including that fifth seat and fifth berth. Stunning motorhome. If you've got one to sell, get in touch and we'll see you soon. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews. To find out more information, you can go on our website, www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com. Telephone us on 01283 240 237.